I think it would be wonderful if we named the baby after a character in a famous book. Huckleberry Quimby? Well, we can't keep calling it Ed. Where will it sleep? Will Mother quit her job to take care of it? I don't know. I kind of like it. It Quimby. It's original, don't you think? And if its middle name was Iza, it'd be It is a Quimby. <laughs> hey, how about something from Little Women? June's a nice name for a baby girl. Yeah, if she's not born in July. <laughs> now, I still like algae. Algae Quimby. Kind of grows on you, doesn't it? <laughs> Ramona, what are you doing? I can't hear you. You're upside down. You're the one who's upside down. All the blood is rushing to your head, and you won't be able to think straight when the baby comes. I'm hanging like that. Ramona, this is no time to start getting weird. You know the baby's due today. Any, uh, news from the front? Nothing major. I like suspense. <clears throat> you want some lunch? Mm, maybe later. Later. If there is a later. Uh -huh. Ramona, come on, let's quit hanging upside down. It's time for lunch. This is the wrong time to start playing games. Come on. Babies are too busy eating and sleeping to know much about anything the first couple weeks. Well, do they dream? Yeah. When you were a baby, you used to frown in your dreams. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Don't you have a swimming lesson today? Tomorrow, Daddy. Oh, right, right. And Sarah's mother will be picking us up. Ah, uh, Ramona. Uh, okay, I, I want to go over the arrangements one more time, okay? Daddy, we've gone over everything a million times. I know, I just want to do it one more time, all right? Now, the two of you stay here until I come home from the hospital. Uh, if it's morning, you get yourself ready for swimming. Who's driving? Emily's mother. Right. Now, you'll make sandwiches for your lunch, and don't forget to take clean towels, okay? Now, Ramona, do you remember where the phone numbers are? for the hospital in Dr. Gordon's office? I forgot. They're on the wall by the phone. They're too high. I can't read them. Pass the mustard, please, Dad. Ramona, it's right in front of you. Are you OK? Sure. Look, Beezus, um, do me a favor, would you take this to your mother? I know she wants to read it. She already read it. She wants to read it again, okay? Okay. Is something bothering you? What do you mean? I think you know what I mean. Oh, you mean algae? Well, it's not here yet, is it? So how could it bother me? Honey, uh, when a baby is born, it's just about the most important thing that can happen to a family. I know. So it's perfectly OK if people in that family are a little nervous or excited, or if they don't know what to make of it all. Okay. Hold on. Ramona. 
want to have a talk with you, please? What about? Sit up, please. In a second. Right now, please. You know, sweetheart, you haven't been quite yourself for the last week. Do you want to tell me what's going on with you? Well, the weather's been really hot these days. It's more than that, isn't it? No. You know, Ramona, when a baby is born, it's the most important thing that I can know, happen to a family. I know, it's just about the most important thing that can happen to a family. You know the baby's coming soon. Okay, I know. And are you looking forward to it? Yeah. You know, sweetheart, just because you're not the baby anymore... I'm not a baby. All right. Just because you're not the youngest anymore doesn't mean that we don't love you and that we are not going to pay attention to you. We'll see you later. You stay here and take care of the house. Oh, and honey, don't forget to tidy up your room. It really is a mess. And make sure there's room in there for the baby's new crib, all right? Oh, and you might want to think about giving some of your toys to the baby, too, Ramona. Ooh, that's a great idea. Maybe Algie would like to have Ellie fun. Wouldn't that be nice? Bye-bye, honey. Who's a baby? Who's a lovely baby? Oh, Ramona. Ramona. Please go get Daddy. It's almost time. To go to the hospital? Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you tell someone? I'm telling you, sweetheart. Should I tell everyone else? I think that would be a good idea. Jesus! Daddy! Algie's here! Dory! Is this it? I'll go get your suitcase, Mom. I'm gonna call Dr. Gordon. Uh, tell him that the contractions are about ten minutes apart. And we're on our way. I forgot. I put it by the door. Oh. Uh, so, Jesus, you know what you're having for dinner tonight, right? Mom, we've gone over everything oh. ten million times. Dr. Gordon, you can take care of Ramona. Well, tell him the baby's coming. I'll be back if you know it. Okay, bye. Bye, Mom. Don't forget to breathe. Never gonna be the same. Bye, girls. Never. The latest report on today's stock market indicates that the Dow Jones took a surprising no. plunge. It's behind you! Ah! Daphne, look out! Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> no! In sparks. Let's play a game. What game? The one where we go under the blankets and pretend we're camping out in the woods. Ramona, you're too old for that game. No, I'm not. It's fun. Well, I'm too old for it. Oh, Beezus, come on, please. Hello? Yeah? Daddy! Oh. Oh, really? Oh, okay. What? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, I understand. What's he saying? Ramona, I can't hear Dad. I... What, Daddy? Oh, really? I want to talk. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. I want to talk, Beezus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell her you said that, okay? Okay, bye. Beezus, I wanted to talk to Daddy. I know. Daddy said he was sorry to rush, but he needed to be with Mom. What's happening? Algie's taking his time. Daddy just called to make sure that he didn't mind being alone until he got home. When's he coming home? It could be late. I said we didn't mind. We don't. Well, let's lock the doors before we go to sleep. And let's leave the lights on for Daddy. Well, 
What are we supposed to do now? We can read. I can't concentrate on reading right now. Yeah, me neither. Hey, I know. We can call Mom at the hospital. Say hi. I think Mom's really busy right now. I don't think it would be a very good idea to call her. Okay, then... I know, let's like fudge. No. The living room needs cleaning up. We can do that. We didn't mess it up. I'm just gonna go draw in my room. Ramona! This is the night of no fighting. Remember? Now please help me. I just wish Mother would come home. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Just like when you were born. What happened then? You came and Mom was fine. Did they leave you home alone? I was only four. And V stayed with me. I wish I'd be with you now. Instead of running around Alaska with Uncle Hobart. She'll be back. Was I born at night? I think so. Why don't you remember? I told you I was only four. That's old enough. What did you have for dinner that night? Come on, Beezus, you remember I know you do. Spaghetti. You ate spaghetti on my birthday? My actual birthday when I was zero years old? What kind of sauce? Tomato. They only had tomato then. And B made me spaghetti with tomato sauce. How old was she then? Eight years younger than she is now. Everybody was eight years younger. Nobody was younger than me. And tonight nobody's going to be younger than Algie. Well, whatever. But pretty soon it's going to be a real him or her. Him or her, it's not going to live in my room. Beezus, did you ever hope I'd never get here? Ramona? You said you had tomato sauce. I thought you hated tomato sauce. Maybe I liked it when I was four. I didn't know you then. I've liked the same things all my life. And I hated the same things all my life. From the day I was born, I hated tongue. I hate tongue, too. I bet the baby will hate tongue. Well, it has to. It's probably heredity. What's that? It's when people in the same family look alike and sometimes act alike and don't like the same gross foods. It's called heredity. I wonder if the baby will be more like you or more like me. It's like both of us, it's gonna get pretty confused. What's that? Daddy? Hi, I'm home. Daddy! Uh, there they are, my two big girls. What happened? Tell us. Well, it was fantastic. It wasn't like when you two were born. I mean, back then, I was sitting in the waiting room, but this time, I was right there. It's a boy or a girl. It was amazing. I mean, one minute, there was your mother and I, and the next minute, boop. There was this little person. Is this big? And then she started to cry. <laughs> and she looked mad. Oh, she looked really mad. <laughs> she? You said she. <laughs> it's a girl, a sister. I knew it would be a girl. I just knew it. Mom okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's just fine. And then she stopped crying. And then she opened. And she started looking around and looking around. It was like she was thinking, wow, 
all that's going on here. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. What did you name her? How she? Well, but that came second. We decided to name her Roberta. Roberta. Roberta Day Quimby. Roberta. Wait till you see her, Ramona. She's so cute, you won't believe it. What does she look like? When can we see Mom? Tomorrow. After swimming classes, we'll go out to dinner. Great. And then we'll go to the hospital, okay? But right now, we need to get some sleep, hmm? if we can. You too, Daddy. I'll try. First time in a hospital, you know. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I'd remember being in one. Can you remember being born? Oh. I'm pretty sure that's the same doctor I saw in County Medical. And I'm pretty sure it isn't. Those doctors are all actors. This is a real hospital. You mean the babies on County Medical aren't real? Definitely doesn't smell like County Medical. You can't smell County Medical. It's on TV. Well, I can. I have a good imagination. Children under 11 are not allowed on the maternity ward. Well, why not? Well, small children may have contagious diseases, and we have to protect the newborns from germs. I'm not germy. I just took a shower after swimming, and I washed my hands at the restaurant. See? I'm sorry. You'll have to stay in the waiting area. Excuse me. Sorry, Ramona. Daddy, you said... I'd change the rule if I could, sweetheart. See, sometimes children can be coming down with something and they don't even know it. So, maybe the rule does make sense, huh? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it will only be a few minutes. Why don't you wait over there? It's a dumb rule. Ramona, I'll take your balloon to Roberta. Children under 11 have contagious diseases. We have to protect the newborn from germs. Contagious diseases. Contagious diseases. Children under 11 have contagious diseases. Dr. Todd to X ray. Dr. Todd to X ray. Excuse me, young lady. Are you feeling all right? Well, I was. I don't know that I was too germy to see my mother and Roberta. Who's Roberta? She's my new sister. And then I got some chills and said these while I was sitting here. I see. Well, let's have a look. Open and say, ah. Ah. Uh, Very interesting. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Absolutely fascinating. It's just as I thought, an acute case of siblingitis. What's that? Oh, it's quite common, but it shouldn't last long. Give this to your father. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, Ramona, wait till you see her. She's so tiny and cute. I can see her. I'm very sick, you know. I have a terrible disease. The doctor said it's some kind of itis. And that I should get medicine quick. Otherwise, I might get sicker. Let's see. Hmm. Acute sibling itis, yeah. You do need medicine right away. Mm. Daddy, what are you 
doing? Doctor's orders. Mm. But if you kiss me like that, you might catch my germs. Eh, it's only siblingitis. Mm. Bad, isn't it? Ramona, sibling is just a fancy word for brother or sister. You mean Beezus gave it to me? Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> no, Beezus didn't give it to you. We all did. You see, you were feeling left out and upset because you couldn't see Roberta. So the doctor gave us a prescription in order to treat you. I get it. Hugs and kisses. Right. Now I think we should go get the other half of that prescription filled. Hmm? You mean there really is a medicine for siblingitis? Yeah. Yeah, there is. And you have to take it massive doses, too. What? What is it? Ice cream. We must have ice cream. I know. Chocolate mandarin. Yes, chocolate mandarin. Okay, come on, nurse. I think this uh, patient needs some treatment right away. Come to think of it, so do you. Come to think of it, so do I. <laughs> Roberta will cry a lot. Pamela said her baby brother cried a lot when he was new. He cried when he was hungry, when he needed his diapers changed, when he wanted to be picked up, when he wanted to be put down, when he had a tummy ache, when he was too hot, too cold. Sounds like he was always crying. No, just when he needed something. Most of the time, babies eat and sleep. Jesus, where will Roberta sleep? Right here in the bassinet. You know that. No, I mean where? In Mom and Dad's room. Bet she won't like that. Why? Because you know how loud Daddy snores? Sounds like a tractor or something. <laughs> but after that, where will she sleep then? In a crib. No, but after that, when she gets older? Your room? Or my room? I don't think you need to worry about that right now. She's only four days old. I think your room's a little bigger. Who is it? Roberta! Daddy! Mom! Mom, I thought we wouldn't see you till tomorrow. Oh, Ramona, you have no idea how much I missed you. Well, we had a conference, and the doctor said Roberta's okay. So, she said to me, take me home. You want to meet my sisters? She didn't really say that. Do you want to hold her? Go sit down. It's okay, honey. There we go. Now, watch your head. That's how babies look. She looks just like you did when you were born. Yeah. She's so small. And she's cross-eyed. Well, all babies look that way until they learn to focus. It must be hard work to be a baby. Oh, that's okay. She's just tired. She needs a nap. Mm -hmm. I think she should go in her bassinet. I think that's a very smart suggestion. Absolutely. Oh. It worked. For the moment. So what do you think of your new sister, Ramona, huh? Uh-oh. Maybe she has siblingitis again. Oh. See this? This is Elephant. I got her when I was baby. Maybe you can play with her sometime. Oh, don't worry. I used to be all red and cross-eyed just like you. And now look at me. I'm wonderful. Except when you're blunderful. Yep. Wonderful, blunderful. 